So I got the PEM here. So basically you just have to remove one of the plastic uh, bolt over there. And then uh, open this uh, inner fender. And here it is. Yeah, I think it's really old or might be original. So I replaced the cam. This is the old one. The connectors are okay, but I think this one is probably bad. And I replaced it with the, uh, the one from... Uh, it's the same model, XC90, but in the 2008. And usually the PEM in 2008, they are actually located under the uh, rear passenger seat. You need to take the carpet off and they are there. So this one looks really, really in good condition. It's pretty nice. So yeah, this place over here is really a bad spot. So yeah, I might think of uh, relocating this somewhere inside maybe uh, but for now I'm just gonna put it in place there uh, this is held in by velcro and I think the original one um, it's like there's like a bracket over here it's really hard to remove this bracket I don't know how to remove it but yep car is back it's alive it's alive it's running. And there you go. Let's try rivet. Yeah, my battery got drained for me testing it several times. Yep. Yeah, if you go to a mechanic or dealership, they would say replace your fuel pump. And the PEM on these Volvos are common to fail, actually. So my AC is not actually on. It's 80 degrees today. Oh, press auto again. Yep, so far so good. We're back in business. And it's idling strong. Yep. So I'm gonna button it up and see from there. Well, I finally got the bracket out. So there's like two holes over here, which corresponds to this. It's actually oriented this way, and uh, it's really tough to take this out because of these tabs over here. So, the way it's uh, positioned is that yeah, it's gonna be like this. Uh, then I put it this way. your friend put the tape on the connector and on the seams here so that uh, no uh, moisture could go in um, yeah it's just like a, a seal over here so that it will not seep in and it should be okay um, Best way is to really do this. Put this one inside. So if the connector is down. I think the connector should be up though. But the problem is, I don't know who the Volvo designed it. You should fire the engineer who did this design though. This is kind of stupid idea. So all the water would go here and down to your connector. Luckily, the connector in my case is still fine. probably hurt somebody from forward because this is also common on the Expeditions F-150 yeah they put this one like uh, on the uh, rear 
subframe. How it looks inside, it's so many particles on this one. And I think this one is bad. The uh, screw was over here. Got those uh, green stuff. I don't know. But yep. Looks like the electronics is fine, but I think. Uh, Yeah, I think probably it's the connectors here because the connectors is uh, flush to this area over here. 